Hello everybody, this is Bobo the Vulture. This is more Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. And if I sound a little bit dispirited, it's... Well, not a long story. It's a short but sad story. I actually had some really good races that I just ran um, with uh, my little prelude here. You can see the result of this individual one was that I only finished fourth. But... I managed to get it a lot faster. My little uh, Civic, or not my Civic, my Prelude. It's a Prelude, folks. Preludes, Pralines and Cream. See, and I won the first two races of the Club and Cup entry, even though they're actually against pretty powerful cars. Um, and in so doing, I managed to win a little bit of money. You can see I did spend some money. I spent that money on super soft tires for the Prelude. It's one of the reasons that it was able to do so well. Um, what are the horsepower limits in the FF challenge? Oh. Ah, my car is not powerful enough to uh, really go to bat for any of that. Um... I wonder what I could do with 20 grand. Well, I tell you what, I'll go to special events. I will attempt to win these first two races of a Clubman Cup again so that you can see how it looks. I'm trying to do it with this prelude. And at that point, I should have even more money. So then maybe I'll actually be able to do something. Rome Short Course. What are we going to do with our prelude in this? What kind of cars are we going to face? I already know, folks, but maybe it's a surprise to you. Oh, there's a one of the new Fiat 500s, the Lotus Elise. These are all little European cars. Little European cars have a big... Well, it's not actually a big horsepower advantage. Well, it is against uh, these two here. They're little lightweights. Um, Lotus Elise probably doesn't make that much less in terms of horsepower than the Prelude does. It's going to be a lot lighter than a Honda Prelude, but these super sticky tires, um, they enhance... Wow. Including braking performance, because I apparently broke way too early there and everybody slanted in the back of me. They basically enhance every aspect of the, um of the car's performance with the possible exception of like top speed. It doesn't make you have a higher top speed necessarily. It's able to do a whole lot of other stuff. It's if you were to take it, um, basically there are two things that you can do to basically make a car better in every respect. One is get it grippier tires, increase its grip. Um, and the other thing is to lighten the car. Um, both of those things have, like, general all-around good benefits. Like, things like more horsepower. Yes, the car will be ultimately faster, but it won't, like, help the way the car handles. Um, so, like, more power will, like, yeah, you'll accelerate faster, but you won't, uh, you won't turn quicker. Or, you know, if you get a super cool suspension, yeah, maybe the car will handle nice and tight, yo, but um, it won't make you brake any better. Or it might make you brake better, you know, like, basically the other things are like, oh, they're like specific individual pieces that you can use to sort of enhance up a car. I gotta be careful driving this around this way. I'm not, uh, this is not my best performance right here. This is not my finest hour. But I managed to make it. Oddly enough, I didn't see a whole lot out of that Lotus Elise. It finished in last place. Did he get spun out? The Lotus Elise should be the clear fastest car here. Um, it's modern, it's mid-engined, it's been engineered specifically to handle and be very light. I mean, the other cars were too, but I mean, this is a more modern... 
sort of version of the same science that made those things so cool. I'm not going to save the game. I'm not going to save the game in the middle of videos anymore. I saved the game at the end of the last video that I lost. Um, and so you are now missing footage. There's footage that you'll never see. And that's not nice, right? Alright, I'm also going to attempt the Grindelwald here. Um, this is a much more difficult race to win because uh, against much faster cars. And when I say much faster cars, I mean not only faster than the ones that we just raced against, but faster than the Prelude. I sort of have to uh, have to win this one on having superior handling. Um, the Honda S2000, obviously way more horsepower. There's a Vent one of those like Venturis up there, I think. Oh, one of those Lancia Delta Integrales. Yeah, there's just a litany of good, fast cars here. And a Peugeot Coupe. And I got turned around by that Peugeot. That Peugeot is being a jerko. But again, a lot of uh, sort of fancy pantsy European cars here. And again, slowed down just by virtue of being hit. It's not even a, uh, what do you call it? Oh, I just peeled that guy off. I'm probably slowed down more than I needed to getting right in there. But it's okay. I am now leading this race. And I hope to maintain this lead, but I probably won't. There will probably be other portions of this race where I, uh, lose it. Like in the midst of these straightaways. That's not actually... Like, usually the first turn in any of these big racetracks ends up being like a hairpin. Not so much here. There's your big hairpin. Yeah, the uh, turn one of this track is actually pretty gentle. Third gear bend. Oh boy, that wasn't a good exit. I had to downshift. I ain't going to be passed. Here comes somebody right now attempting to pass me. Alright, I got a... That was almost a helping hand through there. Okay, now... I just need to maintain first place here over the giant buzz of other cars behind me. Yes! <sighs> Let out a big sigh, folks. Yeah, you can go look up the respective horsepowers of all these cars, but yeah, they're definitely all way over what the uh, prelude is. That is the power of the super good tires. Super good tires give me uh, better acceleration and better handling. Um, and better braking. They do everything. And I'm going to guess that none of the other guys in this particular competition had racing slicks. 
Racing slicks are worth their weight in gold in terms of race trackery. It all makes sense if you think about it, folks. And these are probably all... Like I say these like I'm lectures like I'm some wise old sage of the racing lands, but no. Um, it makes sense if you think about it, because tires are the one aspect of the car that actually comes into contact with the racing surface. Of course, they're going to be important. I did not check what time it was when I started this video, so maybe it'll go a little long, maybe it'll go a little short, it's going to be a mystery. Yeah, these are super, super fast cars. Oh man, is BMW... Is that one of the BMW 8 series is up there? Yeah, I didn't even need to swerve out of the way of the guy in front of me. He's gonna just be able to out-accelerate me, no problem. It's like he can do the splits. No problem. He must have big legs. And karate. Yes, it's one of the BMW 850s. Not actually a great um, sports car, but I just love the way they look. They're just these super cool wedges. And there we go. Just got snuck around by the... Uh, I can't remember now whether or not... I don't think I, I actually looked at one of those earlier in a video, but thing up there. It's a Renault Clio, yes, but it's a Renault Clio that instead of having a mild-mannered economy car-ish four-cylinder engine in the front, it has a V6 where the rear seat would ordinarily be. And I believe that's TVR. We all know about the story about TVRs after the first game. Ridiculously quick little boutique sports cars. Now at this point, yeah, I'm going to be... Gonna be pummeled from behind here. Is that what's happening? I really was getting pummeled from behind. I understand you guys were just attempting to help me keep maximum speed so I could chase down this Renault. I appreciate it, guys. Of course, if I can win here, that'll be extra exciting, because I couldn't in the previous video. And I think, I think, at the end of this one, if you win, there's actually a prize car. Nuts. Oh, there it all goes. It all went to hell. That's alright if these guys were all junked in and slowed down enough could manage to swap around him like that. Oh, there's no reason to have broke there, Bobo. What are you thinking? You're letting him get away. You're letting him get away. Hey, 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 he's getting away. Hey, 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 they're getting away. Hey, 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 they're getting away. Hey, 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 cause get away. Yeah, he's got too much power. He's going to out-accelerate me here. That car's also going to out-accelerate me, even though I... Yeah. Third, though, I think that's actually a new best finish for me. Let's do the remix. Alright. So there we go. Those are the uh, new super fast cars we would have to deal with uh, attempting to race. 33,000 credits. 
Now, what else can I do with 33,000 credits? You've seen what a kind of an effect it could have on the Prelude. Do we want to continue tuning up the Prelude? Do we want to use 33,000 credits to go get something else? What can I do with 33,000 credits in a Honda Prelude? That's the question, everybody. What does stage 3 weight reduction look like? Weight reduction stage 2 required. Okay. Interesting. Now, for some reason, I thought that was the same thing that you had with NA tune-ups, but then I tried to get an NA tune-up to bring this thing up to, like, 252 horsepower. I mean, right now it's telling me I have not enough credits, but I'd like to do the stage two. Oh, whoops. I really didn't mean to do that. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's start buying performance pieces. Let's get this thing powerful. Powerfully powerful. We won't do the engine balancing or port polish yet. Those are kind of expensive for not a whole lot of gain. Alright, we're up to 270 horsepower. That's actually pretty good. Um, I should go to the racetrack now. See what we can do. Maybe with 270 horsepower we'll be able to show those guys over in uh, the Rome land uh, a thing or two. 270 horsepower, I could go for this Tahiti Road Challenge. It's worth five grand. I might try that after this Clubman Cup event. See if I can actually claim the Clubman Cup. It's like the Tri Wizard Cup, except, you know, not as Tri Wizardy. I'm not really sure either. The investment of 60,000 credits into this kind of a car might have been excessive anyways. Maybe 12 grand was the appropriate amount to put in. You can hear the car sound significantly different now. We're still underpowered compared to these guys, but we are more powerful. We're not necessarily just going to be left in the dust. And yes, I think a lot of the problems I am having in this race come from me being terrible at driving in this track. I know, folks. I know. It's gotten to be a thing that you weren't, you are not able to do as easily in future Gran Turismo games, but in this game. Still, you can definitely just basically win by having a car that's much faster than all the other cars. And occasionally that's just what I get down to doing. Hey, that was actually a good run through those corners, and I managed to maintain the lead. 
They're going to catch up now because we're in a long straight portion. And because I slapped that wall, I clouted it. But good. It does sound more race car ish now, doesn't it? You know, I almost feel like if... If I drive this area uh, sanely... And don't hit walls and wreck things... The game is almost going to give me, like, a little bit of credit. And be like, okay, this kid, this kid, he drives okay. I'm gonna let him, uh... I'm gonna let him have this one. We'll find out. Now's the moment of truth. You guys gonna just come up here and... Ha <laughs> ha! You didn't have time to! You jerks! You scums! There you go. Honda Prelude beats the TVR, the Skyline, the Clio Sport, the XK8, and the Lancia Delta. Colizio. Yeah. Little prelude. Thing ain't nothing. And yet we just won with it. Seven grand. We're not saving the game. We're continuing. But I'm feeling good about this, folks. And, I mean, the uh, Stage 2 upgrade didn't actually cost... It cost like 12 grand, which is was a lot of the money that we had, but... Yeah, we still have money in the bank. Now I've completed the Clubman Cup. It's time to go to the FF Challenge. And challenge Tahiti Road here and see whether or not our car is the awesomest enough to uh, do this. Be interested to see what kind of cars are in this competition. Possibly other preludes. Because that's the thing, the uh, horsepower limits in this game, the fact that they show up there and stuff, it gives you a kind of indication as to the state of tune of the cars that you'll be uh, racing against. But it certainly doesn't tell you everything. Now, it's actually been a little while since I've uh, raced Yule to Hedy Road. Maybe it's only been a couple of videos to you guys, but uh, it's a whole other play session to me. That sounds has a nice sound to it. Now they do change it. Uh, they do change up the way that the uh, cars sound. As you add things like exhaust and you change gearing and stuff like that. turned out to be quite a pleasant little run, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Except that I'm now trying to carry too much speed everywhere that I go. It's okay. So far I've not felt especially under threat. It's just been a, uh, it's been a nice little day out. I mean, having a car that has at least some manner of, uh, other tuning to it, um, even if in this case it's just a nice pair of sticky tires, pair, a set of four sticky tires, um, and being near the horsepower limit will, in a lot of these events, put you in pretty good stead. Um, obviously the higher up and closer to, like, professional, uh, that you get, uh, the, uh, bigger a deal, uh, the preparation is gonna be. You're gonna want something that shifts really well, and that you can change the ratios, so that everything's super fine, and so that if you are new car acquired, holy wow, finally, been waiting for one of these. So, is the plan now to continue racing that one race over and over and over and over again to win whatever this prize car is? Well, wow! Cool! Finally, a prize car! I was forgetting how exactly those got awarded in this game. I'm gonna have to continue racing the Tahiti Road over and over again now or something. Well, before we get excited, let's see what the car is. A Mugen Accord! S-I-R-T! That actually is pretty cool. Let's look at the information. You can create this car by incorporating numerous Buchan parts in the SIRT, a top of the line Accord, that came about after a full model change in September 1997. Blended the Accord, Surtees excellence as a sports stamp with the sportiness of Mugen's components. Yeah, Mugen, folks. Uh, they make a uh, fighting game uh, engine. Yeah, this car naturally possesses exceptional potential. The exterior boasts a full array of aero parts, from the sports grille and front air dam to the side skirts, rear venturi panel, and rear deck spoiler. The interior adds to the sporty field, sports instrumentation, aluminum instrument panel, sports pedals, and other features. Really? So this is just a regular uh, Mugen Accord, except it has little fancy spoilers and, like... extra dials in it. The car's engine produces the same power as the SR2. Yes, it has, but has a 4 into 2 into 1 exhaust manifold and singular muffler sports exhaust system replacing the standard model's twin mufflers. How is that better? Gives it a smoother revving and more powerful feel, okay, while maintaining drivability in the low to mid speed range. Oh, alright, maybe it does. Suspension wheels also have a more muscular look and deliver an improved ride thanks to the adjustable lowered suspension kit, the five height settings, sports brake pads, and MF8 aluminum wheels. Chassis upgrades improve both handling and tuning turning response, all while preserving the base car's comfortable ride. Okay. It's worth seven thousand dollars if I wanted to sell it though. Hmm, now the question is, do we want to get into it? Or do we want to continue our reign of terror using the uh, VTech Prelude? I don't know, folks. This is going to take some thought and consideration. Anyhow, uh, until uh, we can actually manage to do all of that, this is Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play Gran Turismo 2. And as soon as I'm sure this video takes, I'm going to save the game. Bye now.